In today's video, I'll be talking about the things not to pack when coming to the UK or even when traveling abroad, all right? So please watch this video to the end if you are interested in the details. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tochi. If you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time, you are very much welcome. Please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe and I assure you that you would love my content. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are wonderful. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for your love, for always watching, for always sharing my videos. I appreciate it. So guys, in today's video, I'm here to talk about the things not to pack when traveling abroad. So guys, I've got lots of questions from people who are coming abroad about what to pack and what not to pack. I've made a video on things to pack. Anyway, in case you've not seen that video, please go back and see it. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. That video tells you all the things you have to pack when coming to the UK. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you things not to pack, all right? So I'll be touching on things to also pack when coming for those who are going to be seeing the video for the first time, all right? So yeah, let's just get straight right into the video. Number one thing you should not pack when going abroad is do not pack palm oil. Guys, you see this? This is palm oil. Please don't bother to pack palm oil when traveling abroad, okay? Because you don't know how those who would be, you know, putting your luggages on the flight, don't know how they will handle your bags and everything. And palm oil might pour in your bag. Guys, if palm oil pours into your bag, it would damage everything you have in your bag, right? All your clothes, your documents, for those who put some of the documents in their boxes, your palm oil will damage all the things you have in your bag. I'm saying this because I have a friend who that has happened to and it damaged, in fact, she had to even throw away that particular box and it was a box she bought very expensive because everything in that box was damaged. I'm not sure it's a risk that you want to take. So please don't pack palm oil. Some people argue that you can freeze it. I don't know about that, but if it's a risk you want to take, fine. But I would say, please don't bother packing palm oil. When you come here, you can buy palm oil as much as you want. Secondly, guys, for those who will be coming to the UK this summer, guys, the UK is really, really hot during summer. You know that when you are in Africa or when you are outside the UK, this notion that people have about the UK is that it's very cold from January till December. But that's not true, guys. Summer is really hot. Like, people use fans because it's really hot. You'll be sweating. You don't need sweater. You don't need long clothes. You just dress normally. Most people here don't even wear clothes during summer, right? Because it's very hot. So please don't come with any jackets. Okay, even if you have to come with a jacket, just come with a sweater that you would wear maybe on the flight or something, but don't bother coming with a jacket. If you come to the UK and you want to get a jacket for yourself, a winter jacket, a coat, a cardigan or whatever you want to get, you would get it here in the UK. It's even cheaper, way, way cheaper for you. So please don't bother coming to the UK with any jacket if you're coming in during summer because the weather is really, really hot. You won't be needing it. Most people that did that came to the UK and they had to throw it away. So please don't do that. Thirdly, if you're coming to the UK with so many clothes, especially if you have kids, don't come with too many clothes, right? Please, just come with few clothes for yourself and for your kids because the clothes that you're using in your home country might not be suitable for the UK weather and you would come here and end up throwing it away. It happened to most of us, guys, and we don't want you to make the same mistakes that some of us made. There are so many clothes that we came here with that we never use and we ended up giving them to charity because leaving them in your box is of no use. So you just end up throwing them away or giving them out. So what's the point filling up your luggages with something that you never use in the UK? Don't bother, just come here with few clothes. If at all you want to come here with clothes, okay, come with your native attires, all right? If you're a fan of native attires, come with your native clothes, your traditional wears, just few of them, okay? For, you can also make for your kids as well, okay? That's basically the clothes you're allowed to come with. But if it's for jeans, tops, dresses, shoes, please just come with few, okay? Because if you bring so many, you might not even use them and you would end up throwing them away. Lastly, guys, please, please 
come with your food stuff i said that in my video before and i'm touching it again because it's very important and guys things are really really very expensive african food in the uk i have a video on the cost of african food on my channel please do well to check it out african food in the uk is very very expensive guys see this crayfish i have here it's about 30 pounds here in the uk 20 to 30 pounds and it's something that you just use to cook twice or three times and it's finished you go and buy more it's very expensive here you get a little quantity for a very huge amount of money and you're just wondering like guys stockfish crayfish dry fish you know those things you use to make your food very delicious right for the africans they are really expensive in the uk so if you're coming from nigeria get something that would last you at least six months yes six months so even if you have to buy it will just be you buying your meats and some other things that you're using to cook you not buy the basic ones because those ones are expensive i've said it before and i'm saying it again buy them in bulk dry them very very well and package them neatly anyone you package you put them in these transparent ziplocs arrange them neatly nobody would harass you at the airport nobody will embarrass you for carrying your food stuff so long as you arrange and label them neatly okay organize them in your bag and then you're good to go okay if you're a family of two family of three you can use maybe two boxes or three boxes for your clothes and then use the rest of the boxes you have for food stuff buy as much as you can carry okay because those things here are expensive and it's even getting more expensive by the day sometimes i go to african shop and i marvel at the prices of you know food stuff that we have there you buy just something as tiny as this for 10 pounds 20 pounds 5 pounds something that you just use once and it's gone right so please guys buy enough food stuff i'm an advocate of buying food stuff to the uk yes call me a foodie i would gladly accept the name i would gladly accept the title please bring your food stuff don't make the mistake that some of us made all right bring your food stuff and try to weigh your bags before you leave your house if you can lay your hands on weighing scales please weigh your bags so that you don't get embarrassed at the airport you don't get disorganized you don't get to the airport and start offloading and looking for things you will throw away or paying for excess luggage paying for excess luggage is expensive it's not cheap at all so please weigh your bags at home before you move to the airport so that your journey will just be smooth you just get to the airport check in and then you're on your flight all right so that's basically the advice i have for you in this video make sure you put all your documents in your hand luggage don't put them in your bag because it might end up getting missing to so get mixed up and before you go through all those rigorous processes of suing of laying claims and everything you've lost your important documents so please don't make the mistake of putting important documents important gadgets in the boxes that will be going on the flight make sure you have them handy in your hand luggage in the luggage that you'll be going into the flight with so you'll be looking at them and they'll be looking at you all right so yeah that's basically it for this video if you have any question for me leave it in the comment section okay just get as much things as you can carry for the ladies buy as many hair as possible buy your skincare products just buy the basic things and few things that you would need before you you know familiarize yourself with the uk market all right the truth is honestly every food stuff that you need is here in the uk all right it's here but it's very expensive all right you can actually get all the things you'll be needing or all the food you'll be eating here all right but they are really very expensive so if you can get them from nigeria from africa wherever you're coming from if you can get them they are way way cheaper like because those people selling them in the uk actually put their shipping costs and all those things into consideration and that is why the prices are a bit high in the uk so yeah guys that's it for this video we've come to the end of this video please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you have any video idea if you want me to answer any question or film a video on any topic leave it for me in the comment section follow me on social media on my handles and in the description box share this video so everyone can benefit from it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.